Blessings Aquarius, welcome to my channel. I am Kelsey Crookshanks, professional astrologer, intuitive, and guide here to help you align with the highest potential of your soul and your life purpose. I intend that these me messages will resonate with you in order to be able to do that and give you the support and guidance you need to align with you at a soul level. If you resonate with my energy, please like, share, and subscribe this video and to my channel. If you feel called to pay me for this service, the information to do that is in the description box below. I believe strongly in the karma of energetic exchange, especially as we move into the age of Aquarius, your age Aquarius. I affirm and declare that everything you give comes back to you in plenty. This video is for the energy of Aquarius. If you are an Aquarius rising, sun, moon, or north node, these message, it is my intention that these messages will resonate with you. Um, if you have a stellium in another sign or a strong placement in your chart in another sign, check out those videos as well. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I will be pulling a few, several cards to see what Leo season holds for you, Aquarius, and how you can align with the mission you came here to play out. So we have the Three of Cups, the Tower, the Lovers, the Emperor, Knight of Cups, the Queen of Wands, Wow, it's looking very positive after this tower. <laughs> As such is life, right? Now I'll pull another one for, what do we have for Aquarius? For Leo season. I'm really loving the seven card spreads. There's something in the number seven. What other final message do we have for Aquarius? Knight of Swords, perfect. All right, Aquarius, let's get into it. So we have the Three of Cups coming out first. I feel like the season's gonna start out really good for you. You're gonna be feeling like just good in whatever you're doing. You're gonna be feeling like celebrated. You might even be feeling the need to celebrate yourself for something that you've overcome, taking action towards, really aligned yourself with this season. Aquarius, uh, maybe this was even like a, a manifestation that was working itself through cancer season and now it's felt like it's here. <laughs> and Leo season, because we are a little bit into Leo season now. Um, and I feel like something is going to happen too, or has happened, take it as it resonates, that is really going to shake up your world and it's really going to have like things seemingly falling apart. And it might even shake up your foundation or your structure a little bit. It almost feels like the energy of like uh, Pluto and Uranus and Saturn combined <laughs> of like you had this structure, you had this discipline, you had this plan and then Uranus came in and was like, we're changing shit. And then Pluto came in and was like, yep, we're transforming. You have to let that die. Things have to be reborn now. So I feel like you're really starting to see Aquarius, like what needs to be reborn in your life and what you need to like, what about yourself you do need to celebrate and be proud of yourself for, for what you've overcome, for what you've accomplished, for what you've achieved, for what you've created in your life and how that's gotten you to where you are. And um, this was a big message that came out for Capricorn too. So if you have strong placements or a lot of, in a, a lot of planets in Capricorn, check out that video of like, you need to celebrate what all you've done and what has gotten you to where you are because it's been so much. And when we are so caught up in the day to days of life and things present themselves and we're, we're growing through them, you know, in the natural evolution that is life, we often forget what we've gone through before. So really reflecting this season, Aquarius, on what you have created, what you have like called in for yourself and, and really honoring that and being proud of it and celebrating it, like really celebrating what all you have done that's gotten you to where you are. No one else is going to do it for you unless you do it for yourself <laughs> and then others will start to see. But it really has to come from this place of within and um, the six of wands is on the bottom of the deck for you. It's like saying like, take your victory, acknowledge your victory, acknowledge all that you've done that's gotten you to where you are again. Um, you know, who, who you, have you had to, to be? Who have you had to learn from? Who have you had to like, um, who have you had to let go of? What ways of being have you had to let go of to be who you are? What about yourself have you had to decondition? Acknowledge that, celebrate that. It deserves 
recognition. It deserves acknowledgement. It deserves celebration. And I feel like there might be, it, it almost feels like, again, kind of like similar to Capricorn's reading of like this energy of you've expected something to be a certain way. And this tower is coming in to show you like, no, this isn't the way it's coming in. This isn't the way it's going to happen. It's not going to be what you expected it. It's not going to be, you know, what you were so like as a fixed sign Aquarius, you can kind of have a tendency to like grapple onto things and hold on to things, but you're also an air sign. So you want to be movable. You want to be flowy. You want to be like changeable and adaptable, but you're not Gemini, you know, <laughs> you're not a mutable air sign. You're a fixed air sign. And so you're supposed to have both, but also knowing when either or is serving you versus when it's not when is it serving you to be fixed when is it serving you to be steadfast and opinionated in what you know and when is it hindering you to be steadfast and opinionated and grip onto something so tightly that's really not working and you can see it's not working and you're trying to force it to work but it's not and and forcing isn't ever going to do anything or lead to a place of power um and i feel like like aquarius you're really starting to see like what you need to let go of and what you need to kind of let be this tower moment let die so that you can really step into a new way of being and really integrate and embody that for yourself Aquarius um, you know with with the Sun in Leo right now if you're in Aquarius rising it's transiting your your seventh house so you're really gonna be seeing this through relationships with others and I feel like this is what the lovers card is saying and funny I mentioned Gemini because this is the card of Gemini you might even have a Gemini in your life that's teaching you a lot of these things that you really need to learn right now and you're really going to be learning a lot of lessons in Leo season and I'm getting like an overwhelming feeling in my body right now um, it doesn't feel good honestly it feels like someone that someone's coming in to almost like manipulate you to be something that you're not Whew, and maybe that's the tower moment and what's needed is you to really step into your emperor your divine masculine to be like no i'm putting up a boundary here i'm saying no to this i see past what the facade that you're presenting to me is i see i read the energy of this and it doesn't feel good so i'm gonna i'm gonna bless and release this um and stand in your sovereignty in that way and if Oh, this is really heavy Aquarius. So take some deep breaths. Know that no one can take your power or sovereignty away from you. Ooh, I'm really curious what this is Aquarius. You'll have to let me know in the comments. This is not an easy situation. I feel like there's a lot of past life karma here. I feel like there's a lot of karmic bonds and ties that need to be cut. It's almost like the devil card. Um, I want to pull some. I want to pull some clarifiers for this. Let's pull some clarifiers for Aquarius for the Tower and the Lovers. I need to take this. Whew, that is heavy, Aquarius. I'm sorry, but it's 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 creating resilience. It's building you up to be who you need to be in order to align with, with love in yourself and the love you so badly want with another. And this Leo season transiting your seventh house. Okay, it feels like... Okay, it feels like this person has promised you a happy ending, has promised you the world has promised you a lot of things, Aquarius, but in that there's an imbalance and there needs to be a rebalancing of the scales here with the justice card. And it's like you have to stand from, you have to be in this place of bringing the justice, even though it's going to be hard and it's going to require you to kind of have a little bit of Aries energy, the emperor energy of like being bold, maybe putting your foot in your mouth being a little bit abrasive, being a little bit, what's the word? <laughs> like think of Aries, like to the point, like blunt, like honest. It's gonna take you really fully like acknowledging what you feel and bringing light to that in the situation so that you can really honor that place within you and like take action from that place as opposed to just taking action from 
what you feel in your body that doesn't necessarily make sense because it's not how things look. Um, this isn't making like logical sense to me, so I really want to know <laughs> what this is about, Aquarius. Um, I'm really curious now. And the devil card came out too, so it's almost like, I think I said that. Didn't I say that? I'm pretty sure I said that. The devil card, it's like you are choosing to be bonded to this, whatever it is, whatever you're not, whatever, again, you're kind of holding on to and grappling on to as being so fixed. It's like you need to let it go and release these bonds, release these ties, because you're consci consciously choosing to keep them intact. And it's kind of sucking your energy and keeping you in this like limbo place where you don't really feel like yourself, but you don't really feel like you're not self either, if that makes sense. Um, none of this actually really t makes sense. So I don't know uh, what this is, but I really, again, I'm curious um, to know what's truly going on here because this is like an interesting situation and dynamic from what I'm seeing in these cards. But I feel like through this, like I said, this is building resilience in you. This is build, building your ability to like feel into yourself and feel into the energy of things and honor that part of you that is so intuitive and that really does like sense and see past what things look like into the actual energetics of them. And you're going to be learning resilience from this. You're going to be gaining strength. It's Leo season. The strength card rules Leo. You're going to be um, gaining strength and gaining what you need from this situation in order to, to never have that freaking happen again, whatever this is. Um, and you're going to be moving through this with a place of love, I feel like, because of the Knight of Cups here it says all you need is love. I feel like you're really going to be learning how to shift your perspective on this and seeing it from the lens of the lens of love uh, instead of like, like maybe you would have in the past gotten mad or just played the victim and like painted this person to be this bad thing or this bad person. And in and, and this sort of light, you're just going to be like, no, okay. You know, it's like not a line. It's not anyone's fault. Like, it's just like what it is. It's all love. And I just feel like this is the truth. Um, you know, and as an Aquarius, you're the serpents of knowledge. Like you are the truth, you know? So what does that look like? And how can you shine more light on that and embody that more and speak from that place more of like knowing your truth. The Queen of Wands is here is saying like, be empowered in this situation. Take back your power. If you've given it away to the situation or to anyone externally, like take back your power, stand in your sovereignty. And this is what Leo season has to teach you is like how to really set boundaries with others. Again, the sun is transiting your seventh house right now. So where do you need to set boundaries? What relationships do you want to call in? What relationships bring you joy? What relationships light you up, make you feel inspired, make you feel passionate, make you feel confident. You need those in your life with Leo ruling your seventh house. You do Aquarius risings. And so how can you, how can you come from that place of knowing that and knowing that, okay, when I am in my fully embodied self, I attract that naturally. I don't have to strive for it. I don't have to go out and seek it. It is coming to me and allowing yourself to receive. Um, and I feel like with the Knight of Swords here, like you're going to be, you know, the Knight of Cups is a little bit slow moving. This might be a couple of weeks that this takes this progression of this, whatever this is takes. Um, and, and how you resolve it, you know, is up to you and up to your intuition. And again, coming from your place of power and being in your sovereignty um, and not giving your power away to anyone outside of you or any external situation. I just saw 333, which came up in Sagittarius's reading. So if you have prominent Sagittarius energy in your chart or a lot of it, check out that video as well for more messages um, and more, maybe more clarity around this too. But with the Knight of Swords, I feel like after this place, after you take back your power, after you see this situation with love, after you forgive, shine light on it, come from love, um, because, you know, love is the only thing that really exists. Might be get, getting off on a tangent here, but love is really the only thing that exists and all else is an illusion. So Aquarius, how can you choose to come back to love no matter what happens and choose to see every situation and every thing that is outside of you and inside of you through love and with love? And once you do that, once you claim your power, your ability to do that and move from that place, move forward from that place, like cross the stream, cross the rivers that you feel like maybe are like rushing too quickly for you. You're going to be moving a lot quicker within your life and you're going to be, things are just going to be more in flow with the Knight of Swords here. It's like once you communicate from that place and once you stand in your power with that place, like you're going to be raging forward with like passion with renewed vigor, with renewed integrity, 
Um, and then as you move, as we move into Virgo season, you're really going to start to like feel an embodiment of this and really start to see like what needs, what needed to happen in order for you to come from that place, to be in this place, to be who you are and move forward from that place and not be um, subject to things outside of yourself that are coming from an old paradigm or coming from the past and reliving those experiences in order to continue to learn from them because you haven't really integrated or embodied what you needed to learn from them. So I feel like you're really going to be integrating and embodying what you have been learning so that you can move forward from that place of knowing instead of like just letting it kind of keep happening to you because you're not fully integrating the lesson. Um, and with that, I will pull an oracle card for you, Aquarius. I'm really excited to hear how this season goes for you guys um, and what other message comes out for your little affirmation to take with you in Leo season. The neighbors are a little loud, so it's kind of distracting me. <laughs> Don't let anything distract you during Leo season, Aquarius. Don't let anything distract you from your truth. All right, we had some cards come out. Oh, this is so you, Aquarius. This is on the bottom of the deck. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Owls represent wisdom and knowledge. So you have that within you, Aquarius. Again, you are the serpents of knowledge. Oneness is my true nature. We truly are all one. So how can you operate from that knowing in that place, Aquarius? And move forward in your life, doing what you need to do of operation from the place of oneness. That you are, and that we all are. And with that, I will leave you. I will see you again in Virgo season. Much love to you, Aquarius.